Senior Living on Location is produced by Senior Living Media, celebrating seniors in our community. At first, I think you've discovered Eden. The grand house that sits on a 400-acre parcel is surrounded by lush gardens and other impressive structures. This incredible property was donated to the Vancouver Island Providence Community Association, the Providence Village Housing Society by the Sisters of St. Anne, with the condition that it be used to help us. And that's exactly what's been happening ever since. Providence Farm is located in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island. The property is a working organic farm providing innovative programs in horticultural therapy and vocational training. It's dedicated to restoring the spirit and skills of those with physical, mental, and emotional challenges, and is one of Canada's few horticultural therapy venues. One of their programs, called the St. Anne's Garden Club, is a recreational therapeutic horticulture program aimed at motivating seniors with various mental health issues. We are in the St. Anne's Garden Club at Providence Farm, and these are part of the gardens in the seniors program. Each senior has a plot and they can grow anything they want in the plot. They, some grow vegetables, some grow just flowers. Um, they can take them home or they can donate them to the program because we freeze and can a lot of stuff and we use them in the winter time in soups, casseroles. It's a big community and it's for people who are not accepted or feel that they're not accepted anywhere else in society. So a lot of them have mental health illnesses. In our program as well, they of course have age-related illnesses. Must be me. <laughs> so participants in the program are encouraged to engage in act choice such as gardening, walking, cooking, carpentry, crafts, or socializing. I've made about 30 of them. But there is one amazing element to this whole program that makes it not only unique, but therapeutically savvy. Courses are run by a number of volunteers, most of which also happen to be seniors. Volunteer is 89-year-old George Trite, who was recently recognized as Volunteer of the Year by the local Chamber of Commerce. Well, it made me humble in a way because the farm is actually done more for me than I've done for the farm. It really has. You know, the, the so-called handicapped people taught me a lot. George has been volunteering at Providence Farm for more than 10 years, working on average four days a week at the Garden Club. George not only shares generosity and acceptance of all who come, but also shares his gift and skills in woodworking. Many of the wooden memorial benches, flower boxes, and tables built by him or made by participants under his supervision. I get wonderful pay. <laughs> Tea and cookies. Life, now you're a movie star. You just keep out of this. <laughs> Another person that contributes to the well-being of the program is MS patient Jody Brett. He is what is termed a participant volunteer. The incredible thing about a place like this is the calmness the quiet, a chance to think about things without too much pressure, uh, meeting folks. I've had a problem defining myself, uh, and I've finally come up with sort of a, a, a volunteer slash participant. Um, I feel comfortable with that role. I think we have a very good chemistry here right now. It's just a cook. Uh, lunch for anywhere from 12 to 15 people which is kind of neat because I've never cooked before and they're still alive after. This is an excellent example of no matter what your age, physical or mental capabilities are, there are still opportunities and resources available to you to keep involved and active in the community. Volunteer, participant or both. The farm runs a number of differing programs, such as the Good Food Box Collective, Community Hanging Baskets, Vocational Training and Rehab, the Farm Store and Allotment Gardens. The farm operates on the renewal of life theory, in which caring for the soil results in the soil in turn nurturing the people. 34 staff 
and 130 participants in the various Providence Farm programs. Visitors are welcome to visit Providence Farm and see for themselves considered to be an exceptionally inspirational place. It's open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pick up a free map and enjoy a self-guided tour. You can also purchase fresh produce or a souvenir at the general store, knowing it's made and or grown by the participants of Providence.